Is, is Jesus God or the Son of God? Jesus was the Son of God and the Spirit that was in Jesus was God. God, 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 God. It says that is because Allah, He is the truth. I agree. I okay, agree. God so, is the truth. So we, we, as Jesus said, the flesh, flesh don't make you God. Flesh and blood is not God. Flesh and, the flesh, that which is born of flesh, is flesh. Tell me something then. I, that, I agree. Flesh don't make you God. Flesh and blood is not God. Flesh and, the flesh, that which is born of flesh, is flesh. Tell me something then. I, that, I agree. I agree. He, I agree. You just heard Gino agree that Jesus is not God and that Allah is the truth. How much clearer can he be? This is for you blind, mindless, hellbound idiots who don't pay attention to a word he says. Then y'all bring y'all funky self here to accuse me of attacking the man of God. Then you got these clowns saying these videos are old. I got 20 years of receipts with this dude teaching Hearsy. I got an entire playlist with over 20 videos. You Geno supporters got some of the shortest attention spans. I mean, this Negro done suppressed y'all brain cells. Y'all are some of the dumbest people on YouTube. I feel dumb addressing y'all. I mean, you got to pay attention to what he's reading in the scriptures, and you guys are not doing that. Those of you who are Geno Genesis supporters, and you can tell they're not well read in the scriptures because they either say, well, why don't you debate him, or you clout chasing Geno. I've been getting a lot of people saying that. I mean, we're talking about souls here. I mean, are y'all slow? Romans 11, chapter 8 says, God gave them over to a spirit of stupor. And that's what we're dealing here. Blind leaders of the blind. I mean, Geno Jennings followers got that spirit of stupor on them. They think the devil just giving easy answers in these last days. I'll say this again. Documented in the video a few weeks ago, Gino argues that Jesus Christ did not ascend into heaven with flesh and blood. And he's using 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 50 as scripture. So, yes, he gave you Bible, as he always say. And he said, if you find flesh and blood in heaven, he'll make you lick it up. That's what he said. So, God is restricted from entering heaven. Is that where we going with this, Gino? I mean, you saying that applies to all men, eh? Well, Romans chapter 3, verse 4 says, let God be true and every man a liar. Well, Christ was a man. Are you calling him a liar, Gino? Is that where we going with this? Romans chapter 3, verse 23 says, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So just like 1 Corinthians 15, 50 and Romans chapter 3, verse 4, Romans 3, 23 is applicable to all men, but not God. Say that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Now, that's what you've been saying. Referring to what? You say Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Do you I know what we're referring to? What, you, what are you referring to? We're talking about the spirit that was in him. We're talking about the spirit that was in him. Okay, I wanted okay, to quickly well. show some of his tactics. Look at how Gino mocks him with his right hand. Then, many years later, he mocks his other opponent with the left hand. And this is why he debates people that he know he can just make fun of. That, that's part of his tactics. Just a minute. 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 Hey, who's the second? So John, we build it. Ecclesiastes. The Logos, the Son, Jesus. Say that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Now that's what you've been saying. Referring to what? You say Jesus is your Lord and Savior. You I know what we're referring to. What, you, what are you referring to? We're talking about the spirit that was in him. We're talking about the spirit that was in him. Okay. Well, is, is Jesus God or the Son of God? Jesus was the son of God and the spirit that was in Jesus was God. You see that? For over 20 years, he ain't missed a beat. It's simple. He does not believe Jesus Christ is God. It says that is because Allah, he is the truth. I agree. I okay, agree. So, God is the truth. So he said Allah is the truth. And Gino said, I agree. Look at the devil. That devil is a liar. Satan sure does know how to appear as an angel of light, eh? He'll leave you Geno apologists dumbfounded, indignant, and hellbound, you bunch of heathens. Yes. Greater work than these shall he do. Because I yes, I did more work than the Son of God. We had baptized thousands. Jesus only baptized more disciples than John. Jesus had a short ministry. I've been preaching longer than Jesus. Greater work. Greater work. Greater work.
I know they're going to upset somebody. I don't care. I've been preaching longer than Jesus. Okay, so thus far, you have heard it here. Gino said Jesus Christ is not God, that he's been preaching longer than Jesus, that he's done more works than the Son of God, and he agreed that Allah is the truth. So basically, he committed all kinds of heresies. He broke Jesus down to being a man so he can exalt himself above him. I wonder what you Gino apologists got to say about that. Let's hear what Pastor Dow thinks about you. You assholes can't address a damn thing concerning truth. Come on. Mm -hmm. Take issue with the doctrine. That's it. Because I just exposed y'all that damn lying ass preacher. You damn anti messiah bitch. Again, as I said before, this is judgment coming upon Gino for disrespecting our God. And trust me, he'd rather have Pastor Dow cuss him out than the Most High to strike him dead on his live telecast. I mean, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Watch him. He's preaching like it. A damn demon up in his ass. Now, I do believe Gino and some of his congregants are possessed by the Kundalini spirit, which is not of God. But I have to do another video about Gino's failed attempt to cast out a demon in his service. I yes, I did more work than the son of God. They never claim I'm an apostle. I'm a prophet. I'm a pastor. I'm a teacher. I promise you, he done said he ever wanted them. The fullness of the guy. Yep. Be the yep. fullness of God. You got a compromising, weak ass, stylish, wet, oh, yeah. you know what oh, oh, that would justify every damn oh. thing that you said about like a bunch of damn mindless ass minions shaking and bobbing your damn head. But I'll wrap this part up for now. I understand Pastor Dow's frustration dealing with the liar who said on his live telecast that he'll challenge anyone to a debate. Bishop Nathaniel took him up on that offer, Pastor Tony Smith, Pastor Dow, and even myself. I mean, look, this guy is a false prophet, and you need to know that the devil is not going to give you easy answers. You got to study to show yourself approved and see where a lot of his false teachings, according to what he says, in his live telecast. You got to go back in the scriptures to expose this.